Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here. Welcome back to another video for Elden Ring. And today I want to talk about a really fun and really potent combo that is useful both in PvE and also PvP, especially for those of you guys that want to counter to the Rivers of Blood. What do you get when you combine Prelate's Charge on a meaty weapon with the Blood Flame Blade? The answer, my friends, is the Pain Train. This rather simple combo, when applied together, will allow you to quite literally run through enemies. And depending on, of course, the weapon that you choose, it can also provide you with some healing and also some blood loss in the process. And sure, in PvE, it might not necessarily do the most damage. You're not looking at the new one-shot OP damage dealing build, but it is something that is incredibly fun. It has a ton of great stun and stagger potential. And again, depending on the weapon you choose, also can provide some healing alongside some blood loss, but more importantly, you take this into PvP and you find a Rivers of Blood user, and this is your counter. So let's talk quickly about that combo. If you guys do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions. Let me know if you have tried this or you're going to try this. And of course, be sure to keep it locked to the channel for plenty more Elden Ring. So to begin with, first things first, Prelate's Charge is an Ash of War. It is an Ash of War that can be used on large and colossal axes and hammers, and it will basically see you slam your armament into the ground to create a surge of flames, and you then charge in. If you hold this down, you can continue to charge, and all while you have FP and stamina, you can keep going. So of course, if you do want to extend this, you will want more stamina. And of course, you can then throw on your Wondrous Physic Flask that has the tier that removes FP costs to basically allow you to charge for as long as possible. However, if you then pair this with the Blood Flame Blade, which is a Blood Oath incantation, this will engulf your armament with the Blood Flame, and after dealing damage, the Blood Flame continues to build up the onset of blood loss for a very short time. And given that, of course, the uh, Prelate's Charge is basically consistent attacks because you are charging, this will also proc blood loss. So you basically have a powerful, meaty, steamroller blood loss option. And again, if you then pair it with the right weapon, for example, the Great Star's Warhammer, which is a weapon that has uh, natural blood loss build, up, but more importantly, the reason we like this weapon is because it also heals you on hit. It's not necessarily the greatest heal, however, when used in conjunction with Prelate's Charge, that heal procs quite frequently to the point that it actually does become quite substantial. You can, of course, use this on a number of different weapons. You can basically pick your favorite large or colossal axes, hammers, stuff like that. So, by all means, feel free to customize this as you see fit. However, it is worth noting if you're going to be using this one, make sure that you adjust the scaling of your weapon to best take a advantage of your setup. So for example, in this one, I am spec for strength. So I put in the heavy affinity, but again, if you are sort of spec slightly differently, then make sure you uh, adjust it so that effectively you're getting the most damage out of this one. Then of course, obviously outside of that, if you wanted to make it into a build, you could throw on some other buffs as well. But largely speaking, this is pretty simple. It's just a fun combo where you apply the blood flame and you then go and activate Prelate's Charge and you run towards things. And as you can see, some things do get staggered like crazy. And again, in PvP, if you catch players with this one, they can also get staggered like crazy if you're fighting against the Rivers of Blood user, provided of course you then slam your weapon down as they're about to start attacking you, you should be able to override it. If you start getting attacked first, then the flinch will probably stop you from doing this. But if you can preempt it and you can then basically begin the slam first, then uh, you can basically make a mockery of those players. And again, also on some enemies. I did of course mention at the beginning that it doesn't necessarily do huge damage in PvE, so you're not going to be going through and just one-shotting bosses or seeing their life melt, but it is fun. It does stagger, and of course, don't forget that underneath all of this, you do just have a very strong colossal weapon. If you're focused on strength, you'll still be hitting hard regardless, so this is a nice thing to have. If you want to grab the components you need for this combo, then for Prelate's Charge, you want to go over to the uh, snowy region, the mountaintops of the Giants. And if you make your way over to the White Ridge Road site of Grace, you then want to go down towards the Guardian's Garrison. What you then want to do once you get to that area is ignore the garrison itself. I would recommend grabbing a bow or something you can use to throw at an elevated target, whether that be darts, whatever it is. Basically, you then want to run up towards this tree and you will see a treasure scarab hanging from the tree. You simply need to shoot it so that it drops down and you can then destroy it. And upon doing so, you will get Prelate's Charge. 
As for Blood Flame, you want to go down to Leonia, and you then want to go to this location you see right here. So you can go to the nearest site of Grace. It's near Rose Church, so of course you can go down to uh, the Folly in the Lake. That's a pretty easy one. From there, you simply run up to that location, and again, there will be another Treasure Dung Beetle, Treasure Scarab, and just simply destroy that, and you will get the Blood Flame Blade Incantation. And then finally, if you want to get the Great Stars Warhammer, then for this one you want to go down to the Altus Plateau and then make your way over to the Bridge of Iniquity Site of Grace. From there, you then want to cross back over the bridge and work back towards the plateau. And you're basically looking for this road here. Down this road is, of course, a carriage pulled by giants. You should know the deal by now. You run to the back of it, you, of course, take down one of the giants or, of course, trip them up so that they go down to their knees. And you then go to the back of the carriage, loot the chest, and that is the Great Stars Warhammer. But that, my friends, is pretty much it. Just a quick video on the pain train. Thought you guys might like to mess around with this combo. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Let me know if you are going to uh, turn this into a build. And of course, don't forget to check out this video if you've missed our recent uploads. And stay tuned to the channel for plenty more Elden Ring.